shortest and lifelong comic span in all its forms. I feel no service or app exists that quickly finds new web comics that I would enjoy. Existing methods make you browse through a long list of comics and categories, and you choose something to read based off an opinion you have about the title or the quick preview of artwork that you see. This process is no different than if you were browsing bookshelves in a comic shop. That is why I've conceived of Kapower, an app that helps comic fans like me who also have a discovery problem. <clears throat> My solution to this problem is to deliver content based off of your reading preferences that are learned through the onboarding process of the app. But before we get to that, what are web comics? Unlike traditional comics, which are found in the funny section of a newspaper or in a graphic novel that you can pick up in a bookstore, web comics are independently created works published online by individuals or groups of artists. They live on personal websites or various blogging platforms. They come in a vast array of mediums, varieties, styles, and genres. Most comics are released weekly, but vary greatly in their publishing schedule. And they are a labor of love for most artists who are attempting to find readership through social media or other popular sites like Reddit. With approximately 42,000 web comics in English on the internet, this list of content can be overwhelming for the user without a proper filtering system. Fans of webcomics currently discover new content by search engine or scanning their social media feeds. And existing webcomic apps like Comic Rocket and Tapastic are not much better. They serve content based on popularity and what is trending. They also stress volume over targeted content. So this process is no different than if I were browsing search results. There are approximately 100,000 webcomic readers in the U.S. who are reading three to four comics simultaneously. However, a percentage of users are known to stop reading webcomics once their favorite one stops publishing. A fan knows what genres they like, are passionate about certain comics and artists, and are known to pass judgment very quickly on content. For instance, a fan of humor comics is highly unlikely to ever read a black and white horror comic. So how do we get that humor fan to see more of what they would like? Well, I'd like to show you a prototype of the onboarding process that Kapower will use to help the first screen you would come to in the app would be the account creation screen, where you have the option to personalize using Twitter. This would let the app scan your Twitter feed for, for creators of comics and then find those comics that are on Kapower's platform. Another option is to fill out your reading list personalizing with Kapower. If you choose that option, you would next be taken to this screen that asks, what do you like? where you can select genres, styles, types of artwork, <clears throat> after that you can add comics that you're currently reading and as well there's a feature for fans that are new to webcomics by personalizing through which print comics you're reading and you're finally taking the last screen to fill out your account information where there's an option to open a premium account. After the onboarding process, you will be taken to the home screen with the menu drawer pulled out to show you your reading list of comics that you would get, which would be a combination of perhaps what you're reading and new and upcoming comics. From here, you could jump right into binge reading your comics. Most apps take you to information about the comic before actually reading it. But I feel it's better to just jump right in and read it and see if you like it. Also, Kapower will show you your comics in chronological order, 
so the oldest you would see first and the newest you would see last. This is another feature that I feel relates to uh, comics in print form. You can also view a comic issue individually where you'd see a recommendations feature underneath. This recommendations feature would also be shown on the last screen when you came to the newest comic. The Power has two account levels, a freemium one and a premium. At the freemium level, users would see text advertisements on the home screen, which would stand out against a design that is very image heavy. Also, the free accounts are limited to preset reading lists and would be limited to the amount of content that they can read. The premium account will be $2.99 a month and comes with a variety of features including unlimited content access and no text ads on the home screen. Another feature for premium account holders is the ability to create, organize, and share their reading lists. These shared reading lists would appear in the search screen underneath the genres list. This is a great feature because the premium account holders can act as editors to help other users learn about new web comics. Kapower will also identify new and upcoming work and offer revenue sharing plan with those creators by exclusively offering their work on Kapower. The goal of Kapower is not to have all content exclusive, but to curate a small list of comics. <clears throat> I hope to launch Kapower within six months and quickly from there become the Netflix of web comics. And we want to become and become the one source to read, explore, and share the web comics you like in this growing medium. Thank you.